Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can export the document library to Excel. Um, let, me, uh, let me explain this feature to you and uh, explain to you when this might be useful. Uh, now, in my opinion, you know, most of the time, this export to Excel feature is probably most useful on, uh, on Microsoft lists, not document libraries. For example, you know, this is a library, but let's go to a list. Let's say I have this list of projects. Maybe I want to uh, create some charts and you know, graphs, and, uh, graphs in Excel. Uh, and obviously, Excel has uh, you know much better functionalities for that. So in this case, you know I can export the data uh, to Excel and work uh, in there. Uh, but what would be the use case in a document library? All right, uh, let's first uh, go ahead and see what will happen when I export the library to uh, Excel. Uh, so I'm going to press this button here uh, on the library, and let's see what happens. So it actually downloads this file. Let me open it up. And let me enable this macro. So essentially, it just gives you, it doesn't really extract you know, uh, the documents, all right? This are just links to the documents, but it pretty much shows me all the columns. So in case if maybe you wanted uh, to work with uh, some metadata, some information, maybe sort it or um, uh, you, you know, view it in a certain way, maybe even build some charts and graphs, you, know, you can definitely do so uh, from Excel, all right? Uh, it pretty much extracts in each and every row with its own piece of uh, metadata. Um, so um, there might be, I guess, some use cases for this, but let me show you where, in my opinion, you have a, uh, you have a much better use case for this uh, export uh, document library uh, function. So let me close that. All right, perfect. Let me navigate to one of my sites where I don't have metadata, where I have some folders. So, just a small library here with some folders and subfolders and files inside. All right, um, all right. I guess uh, some empty, you know, files, uh, folders. Here we go. Just showing you that I have some files inside. I'm going to export this uh, library to Excel now. Let's see what happens when I do that. So again, it downloads a file. I click open, and look what happens. It actually extracts. All right, the whole, you know, uh, each and every file, it treats each and every file as a separate row. So uh, it doesn't just extract, you know, four folders for me, all right? Uh, it extracts each and every file, and then in one of the columns, it shows me the whole path, all right? So sometimes when you have a library in uh, SharePoint, right, let's say you have, I don't know, 50,000, 100,000 files, you can get a pretty deep you know, hierarchy of uh, folders and subfolders, and it might be hard for you to visualize it. So what you can do, you can export it to Excel and look at this, all right? Uh, again, it takes each and every file, treats it as a separate row, and then it shows me the path, all right? So for each and every... Uh, you know, folder and subfolder, it shows me uh, pretty much, you know, what's inside of those folders as well. So sometimes, again, I don't think this is maybe a very frequent uh, use case, but sometimes if you want, um, you know, to have this high level overview uh, of your document library and you're wondering, well, what's inside of this library, uh, sometimes it might make sense to uh, export it to Excel and uh, then you can visualize, uh, you know, pretty much your all your files uh, on, a, on a sheet of paper, if you will, and visualize the path to each and every file as well. And maybe, you know, analyze, you know, I guess one of the use cases could be, right, um, maybe analyze your folder depth, right? Maybe for certain scenarios, you have uh, very, very deep hierarchy of folders, and maybe it's time to for you to break uh, a part of this library and maybe create multiple libraries instead, instead of you know creating I don't know 20, 30 levels of subfolders. So, um, you know, I guess perhaps this would be a, a use case. Uh, in any case, this functionality exists on a library as well, just like I demonstrated. I think, in my opinion, again, this is more beneficial on lists, uh, but we do have this functionality on document libraries, and this is how it works. Uh, thank you very much uh, for listening and watching this uh, video. Hopefully, you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.